Assalamu alaikum this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double Vibes and in this video lecture I am going to discuss the next topic for the solution of the differential equations which is the equations reducible to homogeneous form in the previous lecture I have described how we can solve the homogeneous differential equations but sometimes there can be a case where the derivative of the function dy by dx is given in the form of f of x of y and phi of x of y and then there might be some constant present in the numerator and the denominator in such cases we need to eliminate these constants so that these equations can be converted into the homogeneous form and then we can apply the variable separable method for solving such equations all right so let's consider an example and see how we can solve such equations given that the differential equation dy by dx is equal to x plus 2y minus 3 and then 2x plus y minus 3. So my task or my goal is to remove these constants from the numerator and the denominator. For that I will make certain substitutions. So assume that x is equal to capital X plus h. So this is the new variable while this is the constant similarly y is equal to capital y plus k fine now if i take the derivative of the first and the second equation it becomes dx is equal to d of x since this is the constant so that's why its derivative will be equal to zero similarly dy and this is equal to dy fine while the derivative of k will be equal to zero now if I divide or find dy by dx then I can write it as dy by dx is equal to d capital Y and then dx fine. So this is the equation that I will use while making the substitution fine. Let's start making the substitutions from this equation number 1 and we will have dy by d x y because this is the small dy by dx and this is equal to the capital d y by dx it's equal to let's substitute capital x plus h in place of x so it becomes x plus h plus 2 y plus k and then minus 3 find similarly 2 into x plus h plus y plus k and then again minus 3 on further simplification we will have or we can write it as x plus 2 y plus h plus 2 k minus 3 while in the denominator we will have 2 x plus capital Y plus 2 h plus k minus 3 so this is the differential in the form of the other variables now my task is to convert into this differential equation in the homogeneous form and for that we know that h k and minus 3 are constant similarly h k and minus 3 are constant so basically we need to remove this part from this equation and then we can just apply the variable separable method if these two terms in the numerator and denominator are zero then this equation will be converted into the homogeneous form so what I need to do I need to make h plus 2k minus 3 equal to 0 and 2h plus k minus 3 equal to 0 if I multiply the above equation with 2 it becomes 2h plus 4k minus 6 is equal to 0 while the second equation remains as it is let's uh, let's just subtract the second equation from the first equation with the switching of signs so it becomes these two terms will be cancelled out while we will have 3k minus 3 is equal to 0 and this implies k is equal to 1 now let's put the value of k is equal to 1 in this equation 2 h plus 1 minus 3 is equal to 0 and find the value of h so 2 h minus 2 is equal to 0 and from here we will get h is equal to 1 so if h is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 
then this equation will be converted into the homogeneous equation fine now we can write it as dy by dx is equal to x plus 2y divided by 2x plus y and here we can see there is no constant present in the numerator and the denominator and now this has been converted into the homogeneous differential equations that can be solved by applying the variable separable method and according to that we substitute y is equal to v x fine both are these variables v and x so d y by d x is equal to first as it is the derivative of x with respect to x is equal to 1 then first as it the uh, second as it is and we differentiate v with respect to x now let's just substitute the values in this equation we will get v plus x d v by dx and that is equal to x plus 2 v x while 2 x plus v x since we can take x out from the numerator and the denominator and we will have fine so these two terms will be cancelled out 1 plus 2v 2 plus v let's simplify it further so x dv by dx is equal to 1 plus 2v 2 plus v minus of v okay on taking the lcm we will have 2 plus v then 1 plus 2v minus v into 2 plus v So we'll just keep simplifying it. Minus 2v minus v square and 2 plus v. They both will be cancelled out and we will have 1 minus v square over 2 plus v. And on the left hand side we are left with x dv by dx. Now let's just... Take the differentials of the same variables on one side and the other variable on the other side. So far we are having, let me write down this equation again. So I was having x dv by dx is equal to 1 minus v square divided by 2 plus v. Fine, we will keep the dv term on the left hand side then 2 plus v divided by 1 plus v into 1 minus v. Why? Because it's merely equal to a square minus b square. Fine. And here we will have 1 over x into dx. Okay. Before applying the integration, we need to apply the partial fraction so that this term can be splitted. So, 2 plus v over 1 plus v into 1 minus v is equal to a over 1 plus v plus b over 1 minus v. So, we will multiply the whole equation with the denominator so that this term can be removed. So, 2 plus v is equal to a into 1 minus v plus b into 1 plus v. Fine. If v is equal to 1 from this equation, then we will have 3 is equal to b into 2 and this implies b is equal to 3 over 2. Similarly, if b is equal to minus 1, then this term will be reduced to 0. v is equal to minus 1, so 2 minus 1 is 1 is equal to a into 1 minus into minus 1 is 2. So, this implies a is, is equal to 1 over 2. From here we have determined the constants as well and now we will just substitute the value. This equation becomes a is equal to 1 over 2 into 1 plus v plus 3 over 2 into 1 minus v. Fine and Here we will have dv while on the right hand side we will have having 1 over x into dx. 
since we have separated the variables with their derivatives let's just apply the integration on both sides so integration of 1 over 2 into 1 plus v so 1 over 2 remains as it is and then we can write it natural log of 1 plus v and then the derivative of v is equal to plus 1 so this terms this term remains as it is then plus 3 over 2 natural log of 1 minus v and the derivative of minus v is equal to minus 1 so this term will be negative fine while on the right hand side we will have natural log of x plus natural log of c okay now we can see here this 2 is actually being divided so we can multiply this whole equation with this so it becomes natural log of 1 plus v minus 3 natural log of 1 minus v is equal to 2 into natural log of x into c since these two terms are added similarly we can also write it as natural log of 1 plus v divided by 1 minus v and this 3 will actually be become the power of 1 minus v whole cube similarly it becomes the power of x and c whole square so it's equal to natural log of x c whole square these two natural logs can be cancelled out from the both sides and we will simply have 1 plus v over 1 minus v whole cube is equal to x square c square okay now let's start performing the back substitution we started from y is equal to v into x okay and from here v is equal to capital y over x so 1 plus capital y divided by x similarly 1 minus capital y over x whole cube similarly x square into c square as it is once you will simplify this fraction you will see it's equal to x plus y divided by x minus y whole cube and this is equal to c square as we started from x is equal to capital x plus h and this implies x is equal to x minus h since h, h was equal to 1 so we can write it as x minus 1 fine similarly capital or y is equal to capital y plus k and this will imply y is equal to y minus 1 let's substitute the values in this equation so we will have x minus 1 plus y minus 1 and then similarly x minus 1 minus y plus 1 whole cube is equal to c square fine so it becomes x plus y minus 2 divided by x minus y whole cube is equal to c square so this is the final solution thank you for watching